Today's visit to Palermo was brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real, everyday cruisers. Good morning from Palermo, Sicily. We had the world's best first night on a cruise sleep last night. It doesn't get any better than that. So after a super long travel day, we all conked out around 10 p.m. and slept pretty much straight through the night until about 6 a.m. We enjoyed our Nespresso coffee pot in the room this morning, which is something the Yacht Club does so beautifully. It's just amazing to have in-room coffee. Today's a big day. We are getting off the ship here in Palermo and we are doing a street food tour, which we're so excited about. We booked with a company called Streety on our own directly. And I think we paid just under a hundred euro for the three of us to go on a walking tour. So it's about 9.40 right now and we're going to be getting off the ship at 10 o'clock and giving ourselves about an hour to get to the walking point. So we're going to be walking to Teatro Massimo and meeting our guide there and then I think our tour is about two and a half or three hours. So we're well rested, we had a great breakfast in the yacht club and we enjoyed the most gorgeous and dramatic sail in this morning into Sicily. I cannot believe how clear and amazing the weather has been. There is no wind, the sun is shining, the temperature is perfect, there's not a single ripple in the ocean and we just couldn't ask for better weather, especially for, for an early spring type of a cruise. We definitely thought it was going to be colder and more windy, so we'll see how the rest of the week holds up. But today, weather is on our side. Fingers crossed that it stays that way. So when we get back from our food tour today, we're going to be um, having formal night or as they call it on the ship they call it gala night this is our first formal night on board and tonight is um, what is today I think it's Monday so if you're doing this cruise your two formal nights will be on your Palermo night and on the sea day which is good there's lots of space in between the two of them another fun thing that's happening tonight is at 8 o'clock our son is going to be doing something awesome with the Kid Center what's that show called again son it's called Kelly and Chloe Kelly so and Chloe casting for Kelly and Chloe We're gonna be like yeah audition thing and I think one of us might get the show. So cool. So this is what they have going on. Um, through the Kids Center, there's there's this web show that MSC has, I'll, I'll kind of back up a little bit, called Kelly and Chloe. And on some of their cruises, they have a little green screen casting event for the kids where they can basically like, audition to be on Kelly and Chloe, the MSC web series. So our son is like, okay, that's what we're doing at eight o'clock tonight. So he's really stoked. So we've got to squeeze in dinner, gala night, and that somehow into our evening. But I think we're all pretty excited about today. We're also just really relieved that we got a good night's rest and that we're all kind of fueled up and ready to take on this first day. So we're heading back to the room right now, packing a small backpack for our shore day, and then we're gonna walk off the ship. Putu, our butler, just came and picked us up at our room and she is escorting us off the ship, which is a very nice little feature of the Yacht Club. When we were telling her that we didn't know exactly where to go to our meeting place, we told her, we're just gonna ask a local where to go. She's like, no, 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 I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get you a map of Palermo. So she literally just scuttled off up to the reception desk to get us a map of Palermo. I'm just assuming. 
it looks like it, but I can't find a sign anywhere. We made it to Teatro Massimo with about 10 minutes to spare. For some reason, all the street names on the map that we had didn't match what we were seeing on the street. So we have a theory that we may have gotten ourselves off the map somehow. <laughs> but we asked some nice young folks who spoke English in a park down the street and they directed us the right way and we made it. It was a great, a great walk. It is very crowded here at Teatro Massimo. So we're just waiting for our guide. It shouldn't be long now. We are looking for someone wearing a red bag on their shoulder. And when we see that person, I think we're gonna know that we're ready to get started with our food tour. I want to live 1,000 years because compared to my generation, we don't want to do arancine. want to be lawyer and doctor, but not arancine major. Okay, spingione, friends. Pipitune. Yes. Oh. It's a kind of flavor, of course. Salute! Salute! So, before we kill them, you want to take a picture to feel yeah. it, okay? Panella Cazzilli, okay? This is supposed to be it with lemon and without lemon. Try both, okay? I mean, remember, it's supposed to be it with right, lemon and without lemon, First item in the passport lemon, okay? today is panella. Try to feel the mint inside how help to crunch the flower friend, okay? Because it's a fried potato you can find even in Zimbabwe. So, more napkins, one second. Have you seen, have you noticed this, guys? Orange, arancina orange, yeah. means orange, okay? So I need silence because I don't want to destroy this masterpiece, you know? <laughs> they are super crunchy like this, guys. This is how fried food is supposed to behave. Crunchy, crispy for a Sicilian, of course. Can you see, guys? I don't want to see. This is the item I'm most excited about today. This is arancina, the ragu and a rice, it's like a rice ball. I know, I know, we make people in so don't want to see So, friends, now you know when I told you I dream of arancina every night. Get ricotta. We make ricotta even with pistachio, pepper, okay, pepperone. A lot, look. 
all of this yes. this guy is made with sheep meat guys yes and again this is poison for the people mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Congratulations to her, ah, brava, she does have a club, brava, ah. brava. <laughs> un euro, un euro, un euro, la bella spremuta, un euro, un euro, un euro. Okay, it's a huge piece of ice, can you notice this? Okay, it's scratch, it's placed inside a glass like this, and you can add your flavor. Lemon, orange, pomegranate. grape. Even, I mean, my favorite is lemon and orange. It's one euro each. If you wanna, try it. If you don't wanna, we can leave, okay? You wanna, guys, lemon? Uno? Si. Grazie mille. This is an awesome way to spend the day in Palermo. Highly recommend this tour with Streety. The arancini ball alone is worth the tour. It's so good. It was like a... Um, our barrio rice ball with ragu in the middle and this granita with lemon and orange is to die for It's just fresh juice over shaved ice. So oops. I just tripped over a little cobblestone Anyway, we're off to our next tasting area juniors had a lot of fun today. He actually gets to uh, Stamp all the passports. So I'm not sure we're off to next, but I'm gonna go meet up with the group and See what we're gonna try next. He said we are gonna try a spleen sandwich But that it's gonna be good because it's fried in lard. Ugh, I don't know. We'll see what do you think? It's like homemade soda with citrus and bicarbonate, which I don't know what that is. Is that baking soda? Okay. Salute! Salute! This is the color of Sicilian maiolica and ceramic, okay? Dolce Gabbana, the Afton Sisley, one of them is coming from Palermo. And now we are reaching the Bucciria. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Amen. My suggestion, if you are a couple, it's okay. But if you are single, don't try this for your first date because it's made with a lot of onion. You know, they say make you stronger. Feel free to do what you want, okay? And that's saying a lot. This man is making from his cheap ingredients scrub something very tasty. Okay? So my suggestion try. If you don't wanna, don't worry. Oh. Smell good guys or not? Look the way it's making the bread. It's making the sandwich. It's almost dense. I'm being silent for effect. I said I wasn't going to try the spleen sandwich, but I feel like I'm offending both the tour guide and the cook if I don't at least try it. Here's what it looks like. I don't like the smell. I don't think anybody here has liked the smell, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm just looking around to make sure that I have like an out if I need it. So here we go. Oh, sweet mercy. I'm going for like an edge that doesn't have a lot of spleen on it. Oh, that was sexy. It's not bad. Your turn, honey. It's a good sesame seed bun. Kind of tastes like cross between 
roast beef and a mushroom, but it has a smell that's so like meaty and gamey that it's hard to get past the smell to enjoy the texture and the flavor, if that makes sense. Anyway, your turn, honey. So, another sandwich. What do you want to drink? Wine. This is some kind of sweet wine. I can't remember what it's called, but we're going to give it a taste. Someone is missing the Whoa. It's a lot like a port, but it just has its own personality. What's the name of this place again? This one is called Taverna Azzurra, Live Blue Taverna. And we are in the Bucceria Market. Buongiorno. 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 <laughs> Our last stop on the food tour was a spot called Lucese and we had cannoli, cannolo, depending on if you're doing the singular or the plural, which I didn't know even existed today, you learn something new every day, and gelato. It was just, it was so special. This was really an incredible way to kick off our cruise here in the Mediterranean. Um, our guide, Angelo, was such a sweetheart. He went out of his way to inform us and to entertain us and to make sure that we had a good experience. I don't think I would do a spleen sandwich again, but <laughs> everything else was just fantastic. Um, this city is romantic and in a way it's lively and it's just, you, you just really get this sense of the local culture when you do a tour like this. I highly, highly recommend it. So now we're kind of getting lost and making our way on foot back to the ship. We don't have any idea where we're going, but our guide, <laughs> Angelo, was a sweetheart and gave us his um, best assessment of how to get back to the ship. So we have two hours to figure it out. And I think we're just gonna kind of wander the streets and get a little bit more of a feel for this awesome town. It's about 4.20, we're back on board, settled back in to our cabin and enjoying the afternoon. Wow, I will never look at street food tours the same. I had no idea what an awesome way this was gonna to be today to see the city and to really get a taste for the local life and the culture and not to mention some wonderful food. So we did a tour today with Streety, as you know, and it was about approximately three hours and it was a nice way to just have a really casual, slow-paced walk through Palermo while learning a little bit about the culture and the history and taste some awesome food. We had so much fun getting our passports stamped and Junior had a great time helping out with that whole process. The cannoli was a highlight. The arancini ball, is it arancini? Did I say that right? I think that's right. It was an absolute highlight and it was just, it was so fun. It was so cool and I think that we all left feeling like we had a great time. It was very kid friendly. Um, our guide, Angelo, was a sweetheart. Hi, Angelo! And he kept us engaged the whole time. Um, there was never a dull moment, but at the same time, the pace was just perfect for us. We had a great group too. Everyone was so nice in our tour, and I think it was just a great, great way to spend a few hours on shore, but to not wear ourselves out. So all aboard time is in about 10 more minutes. I think we set sail around 5 p.m. tonight. So for us, it's time to either go explore the ship a little bit, or maybe hit the water slides. The water, the water, excuse me, the weather is actually starting to cool down a little bit. We got super lucky today on shore though, and we had low 70 degree weather, even though it's early spring and was supposed to be a bit cooler. So unless we were in the shade, it was like t-shirt weather, you guys. We got so lucky. So anyway, 
if the water slides are a little bit too chilly for us, I think we're just gonna wander around and then get ready for formal night and hopefully for Junior's little experience with the, um, the auditions for Chloe and Kelly. but what I wanted to draw your attention to was the atmosphere bar, which is the snack and bar area behind the pool. So I'm gonna flip around and show you right here. So that area is the first side of the atmosphere bar and it's actually a bar, like a bar with cocktails, beer, and wine, but they also have ice cream. I have never seen so many flavors of ice cream on a ship before, soft serve. They have pistachio, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and they have all kinds of toppings. They have traditional toppings like nuts and sprinkles, but then they also have a ton of fresh fruit. And over here is the other side of the atmosphere bar, and that's the burger grill side. So they have little hamburgers in little to-go containers that kids can just kind of pick up, or adults. And then they have french fries and chicken fingers, and then they have three different kinds of pizza. So they had like a cheese pizza, a cheeseless pizza, and I think, I wanna say like a pepperoni pizza or something like that, but this is a really cool area. It's always nice to be able to dine poolside, so we wanted to show it to you real quick. And a little bit of cake balls. Oh, I should know. Tiny bit of cake balls. Tiny bit of cake balls. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. We're just back to the room to enjoy sail away from Palermo. One little detail I wanted to clear up. We we're just showing you the ice cream bar poolside. There is a charge for that ice cream there. You need to have the premium beverage package or you do need to pay for it. So I wanted to make sure that I cleared that up. It's very, very nice ice cream, really premium toppings, very nice service, but there is a small charge for that. Okay, so we are back on our balcony and we are heading out. Tomorrow we're going to be in Malta. So we are going to go and get ready for our shore day tomorrow, maybe before dinner tonight so that we can go out after formal night and enjoy the Kelly and Chloe screening that's happening a little bit later. And um, we're going to, I think at this point, just get the hair curled up, get the camera ready for tonight, get the little boy cleaned up and in his formal night clothes, and we'll go enjoy our first ever formal night in the Yacht Club. But I wanted to take a moment, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce you to my cocktail of the day. This is the Aviation Fizz from the Yacht Club. So this is unique. This is Bombay Sapphire Gin Vermouth Creme de Violette, which is basically like a syrup flavored with violet. And it's supposed to have tonic in it, but I got it with club soda. It is totally up my alley. So this, my friends, is going to be my drink of the day for Palermo, the Aviation Fizz. Mm. Love it. Oh my word, friends. Look at the sunset. It is just so beautiful out here. Probably can't see much behind me, so I'll flip the camera around. All right, you guys, the Yacht Club is pretty cool. We came back from dinner and we had five little assorted macarons waiting for us. These are so cute! They actually sell these down in the Jean-Philippe chocolate shop. I had heard that nice little touches like this were part of the Yacht Club experience and it's definitely a treat. We are so tired. Waking up at five o'clock this morning was awesome. <laughs> But now, almost nine o'clock, we're tuckered out. I think the good news is we've adjusted quickly, very, very quickly to the time zone over here in Europe. The bad news is we're not gonna be staying up until midnight and <laughs> partying like we were 24. So we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna go wash off my makeup. We're gonna get cozy in bed and we're going to crash out because tomorrow we have an awesome day planned. Tomorrow we are visiting Valletta, Malta, the island nation of Malta, a dream I've always had. And we're gonna be doing a really cool excursion. You definitely wanna tune in for tomorrow. We're doing this excursion called the Rolling Geeks. And what it is, is it's basically 
a GPS navigated golf cart tour around the three cities area on Malta. So we're going to be getting off the ship maybe around 11 o'clock or so, 11 in the morning, and we're going to be taking a little ferry to, um, I think it's called Cospicua or Cospicua, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And there we're going to be walking to the Rolling Geeks office and jumping on our GPS navigated golf cart. Apparently if you get lost, someone at the home office for Rolling Geeks phones your cart and says, okay, you've made a wrong turn. <laughs> turn left. And the cool thing about it is it's available in a ton of different languages. So we're really stoked to experience Valletta Malta. It's something that'll be totally new to us. And we do not have to get up early in the morning, which I feel like on this cruise, we've been doing a pretty darn good job of planning our excursions to be short and to allow us time to still enjoy the beautiful ship that we're on and to get some much needed rest after traveling gosh, a long way from California to Rome. So can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Please stick around. Please join us. Come back for more. Until tomorrow, we'll see you on the high seas.